No. No, that's just the first thing you need to know. Hello. What else? What else? I'm um, ten. The lens is still missing. I still haven't fixed that yet. We are here at the Billy G Steak again. So be confident in what you I just called you. We did not have food on it. We did, it is now. Look at the food. So this is the size of a 15 inch sandwich. This is the size of a 10. That plus that. It appears that the 10 is half the size of the 15. Which makes no sense to me, or Scott, or Tim. Today I will demonstrate how to install HID headlights onto a Ninja 650R. Into this bulb because this is the, uh, the low beam side this is the high beam side and I'm going to install the HIDs onto the low beam side so that they're on all the time and this one will still be able to toggle between high beam being on and off so first thing I will do is take off the windshield just to unscrew the four bolts the windshield is off there's the four bolts there. This is what it looks like without it. And there's two little pins. That one and that one. So you just push down in the center slightly till it clicks. And then you reach underneath it and pull it out. Easy as that. And to reset these little things to use them again, you just push the back piece through like that. Then you insert this back into the hole and push it flat. And now it's locked in place. And to get it out, you just push the pin through again. Very cool little devices. Okay, I've removed both of the pins. So now this piece comes off and comes out of this little tab here, which reveals the back of the instrument cluster and those three bolts which are used to take off the front fairing and headlight and pretty much all of the front fairings are held on by those three bolts and you have to take this cover off to get to them also while you're down here you can go ahead and pull this rubber sleeve back some reveal the electronic plug ah uh, there's a tab on the... there we go Okay, there's a tab on the bottom right there. You have to squeeze that in and then pull it out. Yes. Yes. Good. Also, right in the middle here, in the front, are these wires here. These actually connect the marker lights. One on either side. You have to squeeze these tabs and separate these plugs like that. You have to do that for both both sides. The next thing I'll be removing are these angled side panels and they're pretty simple. You got one bolt right here to take out. Pull the back end of it out and the bottom kind of rotate and pull up. That's how you get these side Pac-Man pieces off. Next piece to take off will be the, uh, the lower fairing, which is the black one down at the bottom. And you may be wondering, why do we have to take this off to install a headlight? That was a very strange way to say a headlight. But the reason why is because it's connected to this piece, which the headlight is in. And it's easier to remove this if this is already detached. And the reason why I'm taking this off is because it makes it a whole lot easier to get into there to actually install everything. So, yeah. And also, is anybody interested in buying this? It's a 2004 Honda Shadow 750. Um, it's in really good shape. 
all the chrome is still good. Uh, custom exhaust. Not too many miles. Maybe like 20,000 miles or so. Uh, windshield comes with it. Leather saddlebags come with it. Highway bars even if you want. We have some over here. Okay. There you go right there. Highway bars. So, yeah. Uh, California, Bay Area. If you're interested, send me a message. Asking about 5,000. Maybe go lower for you guys. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, back to this. To get the bottom off, you gotta get out that screw, and then those three. One, two, three. And then same thing on the other side, so. Yep. Okay, up to this point, all of these little screws have been the same length. But this one right here, this farthest one, is a little bit longer right there so make sure you don't get those mixed up and uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take out the rest of them now the front one is also longer the middle one is the same size as all the others but the front is longer that's just a tip if you're ever putting it back together and you don't know long short long other side the other side, the left side is also long, short, long. And now that all the bolts are, you can see it starting to get a gap. And let's see how this is connected. There's just little tabs, so you should just be able to move it a little bit slightly. And it should just separate, just like that. And then it comes right off. And then you can just move it out of the way. Now the lower fairing is separated. And the bottom is done. Next thing I believe will be these bolts here. They're holding the main upper fairing on other than those three bolts up front. There is also a bolt hidden under the lower fairing down there. So you got one up there, one down here, on both sides. Also the turn signal wires which are inside of there or you can reach them from up here. You have to undo both of them as well. You also have to unplug the headlights because the wiring harness will stay on the bike not come with the fairings. So to unplug the headlights is simple. You just reach right in there, you just pull the cover off of the headlights or off of the back of the bulb. Wiggle a little bit, give it a little tug. You can't see because my hand's in the way, but anyway, there it goes. And then I just pulled this off of it. Simple. It might be hard to tell looking in there but where the turn signal wires are routed, there's little plastic pieces that lock them in place. But if you look underneath here, that little hole, I don't know if you can see, right in the center of the screen, you can reach in there and squeeze it and release the tab, which will allow the whole locking mechanism to be separated and just stay around the wire so you can remove the fairing. And then you also have to unplug the connector which is down in there somewhere. Okay, now that everything is connected, disconnected rather, you can actually start to take the front fairings off. And to do that there is little rubber connections which you just simply pull on and it'll pop off. There's one of those on each side. I'll do the other side now. Right there. Pull on it. Come on. Yeah, 
just gotta pull on it slightly. There we go. It's out. And it feels like there's something else here. I don't know if there is or not. I don't think there is. But other than those two, you have those three bolts right there. One, two, three. Those are 10 millimeter bolts. Take all three of those out. You grab it right here and the same place on the other side. Lift up and pull it straight back off. And then be sure you have something soft to put it on so you don't mess up your paint. So I'm going to undo those bolts and then set the camera up somewhere and show you how to get the front off. After looking it over briefly, before I took this last bolt out, uh, I decided it might be a good idea to take these little side panels off first. And they're simply just that bolt there and that uh, quick release pin there. And once you get those, you just pull these side panels this way, just pull them out, pull them off. And that will give it more clearance to go around the bars. So I'm going to get those off now. Got the bolt and pin out, and they simply just pull out like that. Very easy. Now that I've got those out of the way, I'm pretty sure everything is cleared, and I could just take this one last bolt out, pull the whole front off. So I'm going to record that process. All right, good. Taking out. Last front bolt, 10 millimeter bolt. There's one here. ready. Just set your bearings on. It's good. Wires through this little hole so we don't get jammed up or stuck on it. Hopefully, okay. we'll just move it gently side to side. There we go. Yeah, got the whole front end of the bike off. Set that down carefully. And you're good. So there's what the front of it looks like without anything kind of ugly. And there's the front. Now I can actually get into this light and I got the insides all here so I can install my HID. So that'll be nice. So for now I'm just going to move this out of the way. I don't need this part anymore. And then start working on the actual light installation. First thing to do once you're inside of here is pull this boot off. There's a little tab, you just grab it and you just pull it off. Easy as that. And then there's a little wire. Push down, move it down, it'll fall out of the way, and that will release the bulb. And you can just set that aside because you don't really need that anymore because I've got an HID. And uh, on my other one, I took the ballast and I mounted it with Velcro sticky tape up in this area here because there's nothing else here and it's a nice wide area. And I took the ignition coil and I mounted, I put it right down inside of this little hole because there's nothing in there. And that worked pretty well. I also spliced off of this marker light. Remember from earlier these plugs I unplugged? Just go to the marker lights. I ran off of that and I used that as power for my GPS. So, I might do that as well right now. Might as well. So, I'm gonna go get the HIDs kit and I will be right back. So I've been looking for a part that I need for a little while, and it's the grippy side of the Velcro, so I can actually stick 
the pieces into my fairings. I don't know where they are. I kind of need them to attach everything. So, I've got, uh, I've got the igniter, and I've got the ballast with that already, but I don't have anything to stick it to in there. And I've been looking for quite a while because it's dark. <laughs> the cat's still hanging out. Uh, yeah, so, I might just put it all together without that and find it later or keep looking, I don't know. It is getting late though. But I want to get this back together before I go to sleep. If you remember, this was the very first intro of my very first door. Oh, it does say to use the other door, doesn't it? <laughs> Funny. Funny. What is significant about this place? We're inside a tower. Giant wooden beams. That's why they call it tower. Right? But do you remember do you remember what we did when we came here that one time, the very first time? Probably something to do with that. But no. This was the site of my very first daily video. May, May 15th, 2010, remember? We went through that door and I'm like, automatic doors, and they opened, and then we came in here and we're looking for something. We had three of those, one of each color. And that was your they profile don't have picture. The leaders. Happy birthday, Mike's videos. Not, not happy birthday, it's just the same scene, the same area as the first one ever. And you were here too. We did that concert. I'm looking at your eyes. But yeah, we did that concert, remember? We rode in the back of carts. That's enough. So we had to find the Velcro. This is what we came here for. Now we're leaving. So, where I choose to mount the ballast is right on the inside of the fairing, right there. There's a good flat spot, very convenient place to put it where it's out of the way and it'll stick. We just got this Velcro to do that. So, we're gonna do it. Good. Well, I'm pretty sure that will just fit right there. And that will just hang out right like that. And I gotta find a place to put this. Probably right down here. So I'll put that just right in there. See? Perfect. Now for the rest of the parts. Bulb right here. This has 12 volts going through a filament which heats up and glows kind of a yellowish, whitish red color. This has about 23,000 volts going through, arcing across xenon gas, causes it to emit photons. Fold the wire over, attach it, and the bulb is installed. Okay. 
There's the ballast, there's the igniter, the bulb is installed, there's the wires. Oh. <laughs> I can't look if you're stealing it. Shh! Go back to work. And now it's time to put the front back on here. So here, you record. Mike, what are you going to do? What are you putting, doing? What are you about to do? Mike, what are you doing? Putting the front Mike, back what on? You, what are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. What are you doing? I told you. Tell me what? Tell me again. I'll demonstrate. Putting the front back on. Actually. Grab it. Yeah. This is kind of difficult because it kind of tries to narrow itself. Something about like that. Something about there. And then you gotta find the pins. And that one goes something like that. It was so much easier to get this apart than this. <laughs> You're filming. So much easier to get it apart? Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Now for the power to the HIDs. Cannot see anything anymore. It's the secret code. But anyway, putting this back on. Because I've finished up everything I need to do inside of here. And that just goes right like that. Very simple. We use these cool little things like I showed you earlier. In the hole. Push the button. In the hole, push the button. It's done. It's good. Fits right there. Four bolts in the holes. It's about as basic as you can get. Done. Okay. We're now putting the lower fairing back on. Pretty easy. Put it under. Line it up with the plastic. Just like that. Yeah. We've used all of the bolts. Hopefully, it means we put it together correctly, so let's do a test, make sure everything comes on. Yes, they both come on. This comes on. Signals. That one's on. Now for the test. Ah, came on. Awesome. And high beam. Yes. Excellent. Now that will just continue to get brighter for about a minute, and it's good. Now I'm back to having my uh, two different colored headlights, <laughs> which I think is awesome. Must conserve. Okay, see you tomorrow or whenever. <laughs>